we have given quadratic function and we need to find the vertex of a graph of an equation. So let me remind you, when we have quadratic function, the graph is parabola. Parabola can be open up when a is greater than zero. We have parabola opens up and this is our vertex. And when a is less than zero, parabola is open down. This is our vertex. And what is the a? How we find the a? When we have general form of quadratic function, y is equal, we can write f of x, it doesn't matter if you use y of f of x, this is equal a x squared plus b x plus c. So a is coefficient before x squared. And when we have general form of quadratic function, the coordinates of the vertex are negative b over 2a, and the second coordinate is value of our function for negative b over 2a. So this is our first coordinate, this is the second coordinate. In our example, a coefficient before x squared is negative 1 half. So our parabola, a is less than 0, is up and down. We need to find this point, x y coordinates. So what we have to use this formula, we have a, we need b. And because in our equation we don't have constant and we don't have expression with x, it means that they are equal zero. So we can rewrite that our function is equal negative one over two x squared plus 0x plus 0. Why are not zeros? Because we don't have expression with x and we don't have constant. So now it's very easy to read how much is b. b is 0 and c is equal to 0. So we can now find x. The first coordinate is equal negative b over 2a, so this is equal, we have to substitute to our formula b by 0, negative sign we have to copy, over 2 times negative 1 half. So this is equal, of course, because we have 0 in the numerator, this is equal 0, we don't have to calculate our denominator, and now we need to find the y coordinate, y is f of negative b over 2a. We find that negative b over 2a is 0, so we substitute this now, it will be f of 0. We have to find the value of our function for 0. So it means we have to substitute x in our equation by 0. So this is equal to negative 1 half we copy, and instead of x we have 0 to second power. 0 to second power is 0, 0 times negative 1 half is 0. So we have that the vertex is 0, 0. This is my solution.